In one case, a question arose on whether the reduction of appeal bond was proper in relation to an appeal to the Secretary of Labor and Employment or a decision of the Regional Director. Blazing Star Security and Investigation Agency, Inc. v. Miraflor The employees filed a complaint for money claims against their employer, Blazing Star Security and Investigation Agency, or Blazing Star. Acting on the complaint, the Regional Office of the Department of Labor and Employment conducted a labor standards inspection. Several violations were noted, namely, non-presentation of payrolls, non-registration of establishment, non-submission of annual medical report and annual accident report, and absence of a safety committee. The Regional Office issued an order directing Blazing Star to pay its employees the aggregate sum of more than 500,000 pesos, representing the employees' unpaid benefits. After its motion for reconsideration was denied, Blazing Star then filed an appeal before the Department of Labor and Employment with a motion praying for the reduction of the appeal bond and for it to be allowed to post a cash bond in the amount of 50,000 pesos. Blazing Star presented audited financial statements and income tax returns in support of its allegation that it had been suffering from financial difficulty. The Department of Labor and Employment issued an order requiring Blazing Star to post an additional bond equivalent to the balance of the monetary award in the order to perfect their appeal. However, Blazing Star filed a motion for reconsideration instead of complying with the order. In its resolution, the Department of Labor and Employment denied the motion for lack of merit. It found that Blazing Star failed to perfect their appeal since they did not post a cash or surety bond equivalent to the monetary award. Thus, the appeal was dismissed and the order of the regional office was deemed final and executory. Did the Department of Labor and Employment err in dismissing the appeal for non-perfection? The Supreme Court ruled that the Department of Labor and Employment was correct in dismissing the appeal on said ground. This is because a motion to reduce an appeal bond is not allowed in appeals to the Secretary of Labor. The court explained that the jurisdiction of the National Labor Relations Commission is separate and distinct from that of the Secretary of Labor and Employment. In the exercise of their respective jurisdictions, each agency is governed by its own rules of procedure. The rules of procedure of the Commission are thus different from and do not apply in cases cognizable by the Secretary of the Department of Labor and Employment. The Court added that unlike the 2011 NLRC rules of procedure as amended, no provision in the rules on the disposition of labor standards cases governs the filing of a motion for the reduction of the amount of the bond. However, on matters that are not covered by the rules on the disposition of labor standards cases, the supplementary application of the rules of court and not the 2011 NLRC rules of procedure as amended is authorized. In this regard, the Department of Labor and Employment has no authority to accept an appeal under a reduced bond. Since the appeal bond posted by Blazing Star was found to be insufficient, its appeal was never duly perfected. The court concluded that its appeal must be dismissed.